Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back in. As you can see behind me, I am at Six Flags Magic Mountain, but not to give you an update on the park, but to give you an update on the channel and what I have planned for 2022. It's gonna be an exciting year and I'm gonna reveal some of the things that I have planned. And I'm gonna talk about a few things. I'm not gonna talk about everything because I wanna keep some things a secret, but I'm gonna talk about a lot. So how about you and I dive right in. I hope everyone had a fantastic New Year's Eve, a fantastic holiday. I figure why not come to Six Flags and talk about 2022 and all of the plans that I have for the year. I mean, what better place to talk about theme parks than at the thrill capital of the world? Not too many people here today. It is a... Uh, Monday, the time of filming this. And yeah, not too many people in the park. The holidays are over. There's only a few days left, I think, of a holiday in the park here at Six Flags. A lot of theme parks are kind of closing up all the holiday festivities for the season. Yeah, not too many people here in the parking lot, which is nice. I've always loved this skyline, by the way. When you pull up to the parking lot, you got pretty much this upward curve of coasters. You got Scream off in the distance, Twisted Colossus right here, Goliath, and then at the tip edge, Superman. It's a really cool view. 2021 was a very fun year and I was able to accomplish a lot. I had a blast. It was fun hanging out with friends and family, going on new adventures, things opening up for the first time here in California after a long shutdown. Uh, 2021 was pretty crazy and yeah, it was just a ton of fun. So I'm really excited for this year. I think this year is going to be even better. In 2021, I was out in Florida a lot, experiencing a lot of new things. Did a lot of DVC stays with our friends from Best Life and Beyond. Did Mardi Gras for the first time at Universal Studios Orlando. So many things happened in Florida in 2021, including the 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. I mean, just a laundry list of things. It was really an amazing year. And here in California, all the theme parks reopened, including Six Flags Magic Mountain, the happiest place on earth reopened, Knott's Berry Farm, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Legoland, all of them reopened finally here in California. Again, another monumental occasion. And here on the channel, over 13,000 new members joined Theme Park Obsession. 13,000 of you subscribed to the channel and joined the Theme Park Obsession family, which is free by the way. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that button. By the way, while I'm up here, Tatsu seems to be closed. Ninja is closed as well. And as same with Superman, there's quite a few attractions closed today. So a lot of crews are probably doing work, but I know for sure they're doing a lot of the painting uh, on Tatsu. They're uh, right now working down on the other side they have that uh, pathway closed, but that's why uh, you're not really seeing Tatsu fly by today. But now that it's 2022, it's time to work on this year's projects. Now, as far as Southern California goes, I will be mainly, uh, you know, covering the parks here in Southern California, like I always do on the channel. This is my home base, so you're gonna see a lot of SoCal content. And plus, there's a lot happening here in Southern California. I mean, here at Magic Mountain, they're building an all new roller coaster which is very, very exciting. It's the Wonder Woman Flight of Courage single rail roller coaster that's opening up hopefully this summer. And then also we have Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. We have a new roller coaster Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego. There, there is a lot to cover here in California. And that's where the channel is pretty much gonna start in January and February. You're gonna see a lot of update videos from Magic Mountain, Universal Studios Hollywood, and maybe I'll make a couple trips down to SeaWorld if I can. And don't worry, you're still gonna see a ton of Disneyland and California Adventure content. And Knott's Berry Farm. Pretty much all of the normal content here on Theme Park Obsession. That's not gonna change. But as we get deeper into February and early March, that's when things are gonna change because that will be, oh, Riddler's Revenge wants to chime in too. 
but that's when I'll make my first trip to Orlando, Florida. One, to visit my dad because he lives out in Orlando, so I'm gonna spend a lot of time with him. But two, to cover all those parks that I have been covering uh, for the past year now. I go out to Florida very often, and in 2021 I made quite a few trips, very long extended trips, and you're gonna see more of that in 2022. And what's really exciting about the February and March trip is we have Mardi Gras again at Universal Studios Orlando. I'll be visiting all those parks, going on Velocicoaster again because that ride's absolutely amazing. I'll be visiting Disney World again, because I know Flower and Garden starts around that same time, which will be very fun. And I think Iron Gwazi will be opening up around that kind of time frame as well at Busch Gardens Tampa. And on top of that, Icebreaker, which was just announced today at the time of filming this video, will be opening in February. So by the time I go out to Orlando in late February, early March, Icebreaker will be ready to go as well. Now, just like Full Throttle and I agreed upon, I'll be out in Florida for a few weeks. That's what I'm kind of thinking as of right now. That might change as we get closer to the time I fly out. But as of right now, my plan is to be out there for a few weeks. Like I said, to hang out with my dad because I haven't seen him in a hot second and two, to enjoy the parks and all the amenities out in Orlando, Florida because I really do love it out there. And of course to hang out with all my friends. I love my friends in Orlando and I miss them dearly too. So it's going to be a lot of fun to hang out with all them at all the parks at Disney World and Universal Studios. Love getting my steps in. Always love getting my steps in at Magic Mountain. And then probably after my birthday, which is in early March, I'll head back here to California do some more Disney content because I'll want to jump back into Disneyland, come back here to Six Flags Magic Mountain because then by then a lot of the construction happening over here towards the left for Wonder Woman is going to be in full swing. I'm sure by then a lot of the support structure is going to be up, which will be very cool to see. And for the rest of March, April, and May, like I said, a lot of Disney stuff. I know Knott's Berry Farm will be having their Boysenberry Festival, so I'll be experiencing that well as Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego. That should be open up by then. We'll get a chance to ride that. So a lot going on those uh, few months. But then in May, near the end of May, I should say, near the end of May, first week of June, that's when things really get crazy. Now I'm not gonna be revealing everything for the May and June time frame, but I will say that it will be the biggest thing that I've done on this channel ever. And I will be working with another content creator, yet to be revealed. But I'm very excited, to say the least. This is a monumental task. And it's been something that I've been planning for years, even before I started the channel. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but I never had the means to do it. Uh, I didn't have enough money to do it. And, uh, but now things have changed. Now things have changed in my favor when it goes to planning new things like this uh, at this size and scale. So at the end of May and in June, you'll all see what I have in store for that time frame. You'll find out more information on that uh, probably in the next couple months, but it's gonna be really fun. I am looking forward to it. I'm very nervous. Uh, and pretty scared, but also at the same time, extremely excited for this very ambitious thing. So that's gonna be around the summer. Now after that, depending on when Guardians of the Galaxy opens up in uh, Orlando, Florida at Epcot, I will be making another trip out to Florida to experience that because it is a roller coaster that is very anticipated on my list of uh, new roller coasters opening up soon. And then around that same time frame, I have a feeling that Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood might be opening or might be doing soft previews. That's if it opens up this year. I'm, I'm thinking it will just based on the construction timeline. Super Nintendo World's doing a really good job as far as that goes. So I, it wouldn't surprise me if they open it up sometime later on in the summer or early fall, uh, but we'll keep an eye on that. But th that's like, those are my plans for that kind of time frame. It's mainly Guardians of the Galaxy because uh, yeah, that's, that's a big deal. I'm really looking forward to that new roller coaster at Epcot. 
And around that same time frame of Guardians of the Galaxy, since that will be probably uh, mid to late summer, you're also going to see a lot of water park content, something that was kind of absent in 2021 here on the channel, with a few exceptions like Volcano Bay. Working my way back into the parking lot as we approach the end of the year, where the normal amount of spooky content will be on the channel. Halloween Horror Nights content here in California. Fright Fest, not Scary Farm. All that fun stuff. And in Florida, I'll be out in Florida again to do all of the festivities there. And you know, I wanna try to do more events in Florida, maybe even some like home haunts if I could find some. Then as we approach the holidays, of course, just like now, well, a few weeks ago, all of the holiday content will be on the channel from Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, SeaWorld, Six Flags, all of it, Universal Studios, and I want to try to do uh, holidays in Florida. Last year, I spent New Year's in Florida. I skipped this year. So maybe at the end of 22, I will do New Year's out there again, because that was a lot of fun. And I think uh, by then, a lot of what's happening in the world right now will be a little uh, less crazy and more festivities will happen. So I'll be looking forward to that. But I'm still on the fence about that. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. To say this year is stacked is a total understatement. And of course, in between all those big moments will be a lot of little things sprinkled throughout the year that I will leave as a surprise. Finally made it out of the park. I've stumbled upon this nice little bridge. There's a lot of uh, storm runoff right now, so you can hear water in the background. There's also some gardeners <laughs> that are uh, cleaning up from the storms. We had some gnarly storms here in California the past uh, few weeks actually. I'm sure we'll have a couple more before uh, the spring, which I, but I like the rain, so I, I love it. But yeah, 2022, man oh man, it is going to be something else. There's so much happening in the parks around the country that I just cannot wait to do as much as I can. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back to Florida. I love going there, and uh, like I was saying earlier, there's going to be a lot of content from, from Florida this year. But, oh yeah, it, it's going to be a good year. I think for the channel, this is going to be the biggest year yet. I think we're going to hit a lot of amazing milestones this year on Theme Park Obsession. And I can't wait, and I can't wait to share it with all of you, all the new and exciting things happening. It's really hard to hold back the excitement, there's just so much happening in 2022 i am i am so looking forward to this year it's just getting started just getting started this is my first video of the year by the way too so if you're not already subscribed be sure to do that because you won't want to miss out on all the new content coming out this week and more i have an instagram account be sure to follow that if you're not already doing so i'll leave the link down below in the description i post there often and sometimes i post a lot of updates that i don't normally post here on youtube and you're going to see a lot of that throughout this year as well be on the lookout for all of the new videos this week and next week leading up to when i leave for florida at the end of february but until then i hope you have a beautiful day morning evening whatever it is and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.